Horror stories in York part 25. 2nd of July, 1644, the Battle of Marston Moor. The royalist stronghold of York was under siege by the parliamentarian army led by Lord Fairfax. In a desperate attempt to relieve the city, King Charles I sent his nephew and military commander, Prince Rupert, to the city's aid. Having arrived on the 1st of July, Prince Rupert was determined to drive out the Roundheads and met them here at the field at Marston Moor. On the 2nd of July, 1644, Prince Rupert positioned himself on the low-lying land to the north, whilst the parliamentarians took the higher ground to the south. Even bolstered by the Marquis of Newcastle's army, Prince Rupert was still outnumbered by Lord Fairfax's army, who was now joined by the Scottish Covenants and the Earl of Manchester. The first cannon and musket fire broke the silence at 3 p.m. Though neither side would make much advancement in these early hours on what was to become the biggest battle ever fought on English soil. But the real battle commenced at around 7 p.m. that evening when a thunderstorm broke out over the field. After two hours of fighting, the Royalists suffered a crushing and humiliating defeat. They had lost all their guns and bodies were strewn about the countryside. 4,000 Royalist soldiers were killed and 1,500 taken prisoner. It was a staggering number compared to the 300 parliamentarian soldiers that had been killed. Now defeated, Prince Rupert retreated back to the city. It was the first time he had ever tasted defeat. Embarrassed, he fled to Lancashire. The Marquess of Newcastle fled to the continent. Now with their royalist heroes gone, the city was left to the mercy of the parliamentarian army. Though those in the city still stood firm against the advancing enemy, it would be a number of days before the city would fall and surrender to the parliamentarian forces.